So we all know everyone's most favorite insect is cockroaches, also known as shiny black sea. Cockroaches feature its unparalleled adaptability, survivability, and its all inspiring presence. And it's universally regarded as the best insect. But do you know what is also the everyone's most favorite? Assault rifles of nanite system operatives. Just as cockroaches can adapt to a wide variety of situations, NSO Arsenal offers diverse selections of weapons that let you adapt to any fight that you come across. So today, I will walk through each one of NSO assault rifles so you too can appreciate the ingenuity behind this carefully designed arsenal. So we start off this guide with the default standard issue AR100. Now this gun features the standard 143 maximum damage model at humble fire rate of 667 rounds per minute. And considering this fire rate is way below that of TR750 RPM guns, we can see that this gun is not really meant for head-to-head -head 1v1 engagements, but instead specifically designed to excel at support playstyle. Which does kind of beg a question. What does it actually mean that it's good at support? It's as if people just look at the stats and say, if it has such a disappointing DPS, surely it has to be good at something. Hey, it must be good at support. But do not let those bias deceive you, because while other guns with similarly low DPS has long range capability through small damage drop off and high muzzle velocity, this gun does not. And combine that with the NSO faction trait, small magazine size, you have in here the weapon that is a jack of no traits, master of none kind of weapon. A perfect choice for all these support players out there who do not intend on ever switching out a medical applicator. Now that we have talked about the dedicated weapon for the support players, let's talk about the different kind of rifle that is offered in NSO Arsenal. AR-101 deals 150 maximum damage at the rate of 632 rounds per minute, meaning that this gun's not really meant to be a head-to-head -head 1v1 fight gun, but instead it's meant for, again, support playstyle. But don't worry, because this time the gun is actually competent at medium to long range. With the weapon's maximum damage being 150, it has the same 7 body shot to kill as a 143 damage gun all the way to 36 meters. And this damage only drops to 125, so you can expect 8 body shots kill at anywhere beyond. Of course, this information doesn't help you in any way because it's in a stupid metric system. Like how are we supposed to accurately tell how far is 36 meters in game? We're not a robot! But don't worry guys, because here's a graph in Imperial system adjusted to the size of the football field. So you can visualize in game that within one set of football field ranks, you can expect 7 body shots to kill. With that aside, the 150 damage model also lets you use high velocity ammunition without CQC gun meta slave scoring you a noob. And combine that with a stable recoil, this can let you easily nail down a target at longer distances. And in the end of the day, it just leaves you wondering. Why would I ever use the default AR100 that sucks out literally everything, when just at the cost of 35 RPM, you can have this gun that actually has its niche. Now these two weapons so far were rather suited for laid-back support playstyle. But of course, NSO with all its wisdom offers a gun that is designed for something other than support. And such is the AR N203, a support rifle that supports accurate burst fire for all support players out there. 
Now this gun is a 3 round burst fire assault rifle whose damage model is 167 maximum damage. And I know what you're thinking. This is just a carbon copy of BS assault rifle Lasata which also does 3 balls 167 damage and this whole thing is just an example of NSO stealing BS identity because devs run out of ideas. But I tell you, do not buy into this hasty assumption because AR203 is not Rasata carbon copy. Cause Rasata has a quicker fire rate, tighter burst, quicker reload, and performs better. But most importantly, Rasata is purple and AR203 is white, so they were absolutely not a copy of each other. And I forgot to mention, AR203 has this wonderful future that lets you automatically cycle to next boss without releasing the trigger. Meaning that you can accidentally not reset your corner of fire between boss and sabotage yourself, or achieve the maximum rate of fire at CQC, where you're going to lose anyway because of low DPS and subpar hip fire. And that's really about it that I can talk about on this weapon. AR N203 is a totally unique NSO rifle that certainly is not a carbon copy of La Sata. In conclusion, NSO Assault Rifle Arsenal offers a wide range of weapons giving NSO medics a cockroach-like adaptability. And just remember, if you ever need a high damage rifle for the meta close range fights, all you have to do is to unlock the directive reward by simply oraxing 5 guns. Or you can just play TR.